This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. This is deeper than rap. Yes, sir. We back. Another episode deeper than REOP, man. So we took a little hiatus, but we back on y'all niggas, man. Hi, haters. All right, so it's a gun under the table. I said I was not going to do this album, but Joe, you, you forced me to. I put the gun to the nigga head, I say. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do something else. He said, no, nigga, we're doing body head bangers. <laughs> Hey man, I feel like it's only right. You know what I'm saying? We definitely needed a Pensacola album in the uh, rotation. Yeah, we did. Um, a D'Angelo from Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> we did his album. That nigga from Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I did not expect that one. <laughs> hey, what beat I say? This is gonna be a short episode. All right. <laughs> 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 hey man, let's get into it. This motherfucking album for start is hey, hold on. What the O is? What's the O? Mm. Let me get back to you on that. You know what? O is for outstanding. Good fucking job, Roy Jones. Mm. Good fucking job, Roy. All right. So for start, this album has entirely too many songs on it. Sixteen records. Um, I'm looking at chart. Let's say seventeen. What is the typical? Typical, what is it, camera? 2004? Typical mm-hmm. 2004 ass album. Yep. yep. Where it's just like, like, actually, this is for a 2004 album. This is actually like a little bit of songs, actually. Uh, no, I would say this is about average. Because, I mean, I want to say, like, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I know, um, I think Luda and T.I. was dropping at least 15 record albums around this time. Ludacris is dropping down there 20 songs. Yeah, Luda went crazy on... on Cat, them Cash Money niggas, about 20 songs. Yeah, Cash Money. All right, and that brings me to a point. So this album to me... Oh, I ain't mean to do that. This album to me is like everything that I say as far as my ties to like uh, loving uh, Texas music or uh, New, uh, New Orleans music, Louisiana in, in general. If you look throughout the track list, it's a ton of Louisiana features, ton of Texas features. So uh, you definitely see like what our musical taste is like in Pensacola through this album. I got a couple questions for you Mm -hmm. before we get into the album. Why do you think Pensacola gravitates uh, more to like Louisiana sound, the Texas sound? Well, Texas. All right. So when I was coming up, a lot of the Texas artists came to Pensacola a lot. And that was big because it's such a small city. Uh, it doesn't attract major artists like that. You know what I mean? It's not like Gunner finna stop in Pensacola to perform. So to have, um, and then you got to think like Texas is a huge influence, especially in the South. So when uh, the screw was going on and whatnot, you had people that would take that eight hour trip. You know what I mean? just to get close enough to go and buy an album and things like that. Like I remember my brother would, um, it's funny as hell, he bought an album off Lil White one time and (laughs) that don't got shit to do with uh, New Orleans or Texas, but I just bring it up to say like, it was so many people that would come and show love in Pensacola that I think it was hard to avoid. You know what I mean? Like Mike Jones frequented Pensacola. Uh, Roy Jones used to host celebrity games there. So it'd be a lot of Texas artists. Paul Wall played at one. Um, It would be, you know, uh, and then I think just Louisiana is literally like a rock throw from Pensacola. You could be in New Orleans in two hours. So... I think that those two things really coupled together made made it easy for us to gravitate to, you know, a closer sound that was very prominent. You got to think about Hot Boys and, and their influence, uh, Master P, and then again, Screw, um, Swisher House, shit like that. So, Okay, that's what's up. So, 
do you think maybe it was that way because you know because if you come from that direction you really had no choice but to pass through Pensacola so it was like one of the exactly. things where like hey I'm trying to go to Miami or something we got to drive down to Miami so let's just chill up in Pensacola for a little bit like whatever the first city is when we get to Florida well I could I could I could see it being that but Pensacola I mean we we, we talk our shit on the podcast but the Pensacola beaches are really a major attraction yeah I'm, you know I'm, what I'm saying? y'all know I slander Pensacola I'm not gonna slander Pensacola 